In today's video, I'm going to be showing you guys how to create custom splash screens for Flutter application. By the end of this tutorial, you'll be able to understand how to create a custom splash screen like the one being displayed on screen, then actually move into your application. So to get started, the first thing that I'm going to be showing you guys are all of the packages that we're going to be using while developing this functionality. The only package that we require is the Flutter native splash package. And what this is going to allow us to do is to find some information within our YAML file, which this plugin is going to use in order to generate the specific setting and files that are required for iOS and Android respectively to show the specific splash screen. So by using this plugin, it's going to make our development life a whole lot easier by doing all of the heavy lifting for us. So I'll copy this dependency, I'll come back and I will come back to my pubspec.yaml file and actually paste it in here. And as a side note, I just want to quickly let you guys know the links to all of the resources that I use within this video, as well as a link to the source code can be found in the description below. So feel free to take a look at it if you're confused at any point. So I'm going to let Flutter Pub get to do its magic. And while that is happening, I just want to let you guys know that now that we've actually imported the dependency, what we have to do is actually define a specific section within our YAML file in order to tell this dependency how it's going to function. So to do that, you can come back to the actual pub.dev page for Flutter Native Splash, and you come all the way down to step number one, which says that we need to set the Flutter Native Splash settings within our YAML file. So you can either create a new YAML file, which you place this stuff into, or you can use the existing pubspec.yaml file and place everything in there. So what I'm going to be doing is doing the latter option. So I will copy this uh, by using this clipboard icon here and copy all of the code. I am going to come back, come back to pubspec.yaml. I'm going to go to the bottom of this and I'm going to be pasting this in here. Once that is done, the next thing that I am going to be now doing is actually going to the very top and then making sure that there is no indentation for the Flutter Native Splash. So as you can see, there are no indents for Flutter Native Splash. It's at the start of the line. So just do that, command save, and that's pretty much all we had to do. So now that this is done, what I'm going to be doing is giving a quick test run to my application to show you guys what the current default functionality is. Welcome back everybody. So now that the actual application is running on my simulator, the next thing that I'm going to be doing is actually stopping running it and I will start running it again to actually show you what the default splash screen looks like. So currently, when we have not changed anything, this is what the default splash screen looks like. It's just a white background with the Flutter icon within it. So now we're going to be changing it. So to change it, firstly, we're going to be taking a look at how we are going to be doing it for all platforms and then what settings we need to tweak for Android 12 specifically. So before we can get started, the first thing that I'll do is I will create a new folder and I'm gonna call this assets. And this is where I'm going to be placing the image file for actually the image that I wanna show on the splash screen. So once this is done, I'm going to create a new folder under here, which I'll call images. And after that, I'm going to create a new folder under that called splash. And then I am going to be basically opening this in Finder or if you're using File Explorer on Windows. And from here, what I'm going to do is basically drag and drop the actual file in which I require. So I'm going to quickly copy that file in, just give me a second. And this is the file that I'm using. This is the logo for the Cash App app. So I'm just using that. I'll copy and paste that in here. So now we have under our assets images splash folder a logo.pnt file that we have to display or we're going to be displaying on our splash screen. So once this is done, the next thing that we're going to be doing is coming to pubspec.yaml. And I am firstly going to go to the section where we have Flutter. And then underneath of Flutter, there's going to be a specific section that says assets. So let me find that. There it is. I'm going to uncomment the assets line. And then the next line after that, making sure that the indentation levels are correct. And then here I'm going to say that Flutter, you need to make sure that the assets that are under the images folder are made available to us. So once this is done, that's pretty much all we have to do. So now anything that's under assets slash images is going to be made available to my application to use. Once this is done, now we can come to the specifics of actually configuring our Flutter splash screen. So the first thing that we're going to be doing is actually taking a look at how to change the color. So to change the color of our splash screen, we can use the color property that's defined here. And the color property that I am going to be using is going to be for a green color. So I'll copy that hex code and actually paste it in. So you can paste in any hex code here for any color. The one that I'm pasting here is going to be for a greenish color. So once we've done this, what we've basically done is now updated our actual configuration for our splash screen. So what now we need to do is actually take these changes and then generate the specific setting. So for all of the different platforms that our actual app is going to be deployed to. So to do that, what we're going to be doing is actually using the following command, which I'm going to be showing you. It's called here, start run flutter native splash create. 
So I'll copy this command, come back, and then actually come to the terminal and paste it in. And if I press enter, you're going to see that it starts building the package and it tells me, here you go. It's gone ahead and it's created all of these different settings and files for all of these different platforms. And now our splash screen should be updated. So if I start running my application and I start running it again, and as you can see, nothing changed. So let's actually discuss why this happened. And I specifically this is to actually show you guys what the issue here is. So if I was testing this on an iOS simulator, then this should have worked. But specifically after Android 12, some things changed in the way that Android 12 handles the splash screen. So due to that, now this plugin actually defines a separate section for any devices that are going to have Android 12 or above installed on them and the application is going to be running on them. So for that, we have this Android 12 specific section and here's where we have to define specific settings for the splash screen when it comes to Android 12 or later. So here I'm going to come uncomment the color. And since I want the color to be same for all of the splash screens, regardless of whether it's running on iOS, web, or the actual Android 12 or above, then what I'm going to be doing is copying this color and coming back and then actually pasting it here, like so under the Android 12 section. Do command save. Then I'm, what I'm going to be doing is running the same command again. So it's going to go ahead and do everything for us once again, and then I'll start running my application again. And hopefully this time when the application spins up, the actual splash screen that we're going to be seeing is going to be a background, which is going to be green in color like so. So once this is done, the next thing that now we're going to be taking a look at is how can we show the image instead of this default app icon that we're seeing. Well, to do this, what we're going to be doing is coming back to the pubspec.yaml file. And specifically, there are a lot of settings that you can change to achieve a lot of different variations of your splash screen. But the one we are concerned with is going to be the actual property that says image. And this is going to be this property right here. So I'm going to uncomment this line and then I'm going to be setting this equal to the actual relative path to the asset logo.png. So that's going to be under assets, images, splash, and then logo.png, like do and do command save. And then since for Android 12, the settings are different, then I'm going to copy the same and I'm going to come down to the Android 12 section. And here the actual property that we're going to be updating is going to be the image property. So I'll uncomment this and paste this here, like so, and do command save. Android 12 also has a bunch of other settings that you can say, in, such as the icons, background color, the branding. So you can take a look at all of these and try to understand there are a lot of parameters that you can tweak to achieve different functionality, but this is what we are going to be doing for now. So now that I've done this, then we're going to do the same thing which is to save our pubspec.yaml, do dot run flutter underscore native underscore slash colon create. It's going to go ahead, do everything for us. You're going to see that now the actual outputs are a bit different. It's also giving us output for creating images. And once this is done, what I'm going to be doing now is actually start debugging my application. So now what you're going to see that our splash screen is going to be updated and we're going to see a different type of splash screen that's going to use our defined image and our defined background color, as you can see. So now the last thing that I want to discuss is let's just say that for some reason your application has to do some initialization before the first screen is presented to the end user. Maybe you want to update your service locators by using GetX and register some services or something else. So how can you do that while showing the splash screen and once everything like that is done, then move on to your actual application. Well, to do this, it's going to be pretty simple if you're using this specific package. And the way we're going to be doing this is firstly, I'm going to be coming to my main.dart file. I'm going to be marking my main function as asynchronous. And once this is done, then what I'm going to be doing is actually making sure that the Flutter widget bindings are initialized and that I have access to them. So I'm going to be doing that by using the following code where I'm doing widget flutter bindings dot ensure initialized. And then once it returns widget bindings to me, I'm saving that within this actual variable. Once this is done, then I'm going to use the actual Flutter native splash plugin and I'm going to do preserve. And what preserve is going to do is that it's going to allow us to manually determine when we want to basically get rid of our splash screen. So it's going to preserve the splash screen until we actually remove it ourselves. 
So it requires widget bindings, so we'll give it the widget bindings and there we go. So now that this is done, the next thing that I'm going to be doing is doing any kind of logic that I want to do in terms of either using a service locator, registering services, maybe setting up the application, importing environment variables, whatever I have to do to set my application up before it's ready for the user. So to demonstrate this, what I'm going to be doing is actually just doing an await call here, which I, where I'm going to be doing future.delayed. And here I'm going to say that we're going to wait for a duration and that is going to be in seconds, five seconds. So I'm gonna wait for five seconds um, and then I will proceed to the next line of code. And here, once we want to remove our splash screen, then what I'm going to be doing is flutter native splash dot and here you can do remove. And this is how the logic is going to work. So basically when our application spins up, we are going to show the splash screen. Then we are not going to be removing it, we're gonna preserve it till we decide when we wanna remove it. We'll do any kind of actual setup logic that we need to do. In my case, we're just gonna wait for five seconds and then we'll call Flutter Native Splash to remove that splash screen and then start running our application to actually show it to the user and then let our user do whatever he wants to do. So with this then, do command save and I will start debugging my application and hopefully now you're going to see that when the actual splash screen is going to be launched, it's going to stay for much longer than what we were seeing initially. So as you can see, the splash screen is being shown, one, two, three, four, five, and after around five seconds, it's going to show the application to us. So that's pretty much it for today's tutorial. I hope that you enjoyed this tutorial and learned how to create your own custom splash screens using Flutter. As always, leave a like on the video and subscribe to my channel so that you get notified every time I release a new video. And if you have any questions, comments, or concerns, feel free to leave them down in the comments below and I'll try my best to answer them for you. So stay happy, stay healthy, keep learning, keep growing, and I'll see you guys in the next video. Bye-bye.